Burbex. Hi, welcome back to Burbex, Bryn's Urban Exploration. After a long day's urban exploring, what better way to sit back and relax than come to a sauna and get a lovely foot massage? Yes, that's right. In today's great episode of Burbex, we're going to be taking a look around this massive holiday resort, which has been abandoned since about the 1990s. It's got a sauna, it's got an amusement arcade where there's computer games, it's got a swimming pool and a hotel. There's so much stuff left in this hotel, you're gonna love it. Don't forget, if you love urban exploration videos with a China twist, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to ding, ding, ding that bell for great new videos from Burbex. Brins Urban Exploration every week. Let's go. Now, what about my happy ending? This is the women's area. Would have been a super comfortable area for women to come, get their feet massaged, maybe get the nails done, and of course, watch something on these gigantic televisions. It's all quite fancy in here, but I don't think you can get away with this style even in China anymore. not been down here before. I think this is the men's area. What? <laughs> this room is super weird. It seems to be like some kind of hot tub room where the men would have come and just sat in the tubs and relaxed and talked bullshit. One of the things you've got to remember here is that even though this kind of looks like Western style, this is actually very strongly influenced by Japanese culture. This kind of whole bathhouse culture, even down to some of these Western style statues that you got here. That's like those Japanese showers. Looks like a pretty awesome shower. Well, there's a big jacuzzi here as well. This place is in perfect condition. This beautiful rock. See, these rooms are in perfect condition. My only problem is all this black mold invading the place.
these rooms are really fancy now. Holy crap, look at this bed. Well, hello there, darling. What kept you so long? I've been waiting hours for you in this lovely, comfortable bed. Oh, why didn't you come and make yourself a little bit more comfortable? Super luxurious. Just found a bottle of, what's this? Royal Salute 21 year old Shivas Brothers whiskey. I think I'll pass on that one actually. This sofa, that looks so comfortable. And the amazing thing is that there's literally people, look, can you see this person here? Sitting with their back to the window. They've got very greasy hair. If they were to turn around and look, they would see it right now. Is that person even real? These are all masks from Beijing Opera. This is an interesting find. This is one of the passports from the 2010 Expo. What you would do is, as you would go around the different pavilions, you would get a stamp in each. Pavilion of the Urban Planet, Vietnam, Myanmar. This one, but this person went to a lot of the pavilions. Tibet. What's funny about this is that when I went to the Shanghai Expo in 2010, I can't remember if it was because I didn't want to spend the money or if I didn't want to queue up for hours. Instead of getting the stamps in a book like this, I actually got them stamped all down my arms. All the ink ran down my arms. It looked like a strange tattoo. Lots of people wanted to take a photo with me because of that. Good memory. 1996. This hotel's been here a long time. Wow, look at all these machines. We've got the CD deck, VHS, VCD and Laserdisc. That's a hell of a system. Must have been expensive. And this looks like a toaster, but I think that's in fact a disinfection machine. Oh, you bastard, I thought that was a security guard. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at these guys' clothes. They're horrible tires as well. This guy, he looks like he's wearing glasses like Jan Semin. Look at this guy's hair. Actually, some of these guys kind of look Japanese. They're wearing very Japanese style clothes. I think there's a lot of Japanese influence on this place. It's William Shakespeare. 
There's this guy. Ah, Newton, Niu Dun. It's quite appropriate that we found Newton because in Chinese his name is Niu Dun. And this year is the year of the cow, Niu. God, the light in here is perfect today. Looks like a whole bunch of maybe airline pilots uniforms. Bottle of cognac left behind. Remy Martin is one of my favorite brands. Normally I would drink this, but I'm driving today. Fine champagne cognac. We're about to see uh, Sensori get poisoned. How, how's that taste? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. That's a very smooth taste, right? The bust of Einstein, but Einstein looks more like a middle-aged Chinese woman with a mustache. Oh, this one's Nobel, the Nobel Prize. And Solskjaer Anderson, maybe the king of Denmark. Hmm. You can see they've got a nice mishmash of styles here. What do you call the one with the bird head? Is he a Cyrus? It looks like the last date of operation for this place was 2nd of June, 2013. I'm not sure what I was doing on that date. And time stopped here at 6.55, 5.55. If you look at the room rates, right? This might explain why this place went out of business because this place was very expensive. Like luxury villa, 9,000 yuan. Deluxe suite, 2,000 yuan. So we changed the board. This means that kind of basically uh, Sensori and I now own this hotel. You can see uh, 22nd of February, 2021. And today it's a balmy 23 degrees maximum. Nice. Perfect urban exploration weather today. Light is awesome. You see, that's where we are right now. The Lindor swimming pool. While a lot of the abandoned hotels that we visit Kind of have a very strong western influence looking around this one we can feel more of a japanese influence and we've seen this not only from the photographs of kind of the japanese style business clothes that they were wearing but also uh, there's a game center here with a lot of japanese video games which we're going to explore later up here we've got this beautiful mural you can see there's uh, an angel up on my left and um, a few dogs and women with pointy nipples. Some grapes and stuff here as well. You can see this massive big screen TV. Looks like it comes from Japan from maybe the late 90s. This of course would have been the karaoke room. There's a microphone here as well. My karaoke song that I sing a lot in China is by a guy called Fei Xiang. It goes something like, Ni sai na dong tian li dai ba huo, ni dai da yan jing nuan nuan na wo. 
Duh, duh, duh. I can't remember all the rest of the words. That guy was like this cheesy 70s, 80s pop music rocker. Let me put in a clip and I'll show you. This gives us a great view of the swimming pool though. I wouldn't say that Sensori and I get scared very easily, but you know, like sometimes we come into these buildings and it's like the building breathes and creaks and rustles and there's dripping water. These buildings are still alive, you know, they may be old and decrepit, but they're still alive. They've still got a lot to offer, especially if you want to be creeped out. This is the main entertainment building. In here, we should be able to find like snooker and bowling and games machines and all kinds of things. I'm really super excited about exploring this one and sharing it with you. Great location. See, there's the bowling alley. Entry was messy. In some kind of ballroom, maybe. That's a cat. I wasn't expecting it. There's a sign up here that says that this leads to the movie house. Let's go check that out. It looks like there's a cinema down there. Even though this is a movie room, it doesn't look like it was a very good one. There's a big projector on the ceiling up there. It looks like it comes from the 1990s. This is the music room. There's a lot of stuff still left in here. Some electric guitar. I'd really like to play Johnny Be Good from Back to the Future right now, but I think if I play that, this video will get demonetized. Go Johnny, go, 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 Johnny Be Good. Oh, thank you very much. Jesus, how many VHS systems do they have in this place? They're everywhere. Laser disc players. Looks like there's a whole bunch of laser discs as well. Yeah, these are laser CD video LD laser discs. It's all karaoke. Though. Oh, and another electric guitar. It's 
one looks cool. Hey, an Acasio Tone 610. What's that, electric keyboard, a synthesizer? I'm not sure. That is one hell of a chandelier. Goes down five stories. This takes us up to the ice skating rink. Skating court. Those who have mental disease, heart disease, pipartus, hypertension or heavy drinkers are denied admission. Some of these photos. That's beautiful. Look at this man's muscles rippling. Holy shit, these are photos of this place when it was just opened. This is the swimming pool before it was renovated and you can see in the background it's got a much more Chinese theme. You can see a photo of this place as well at night. This would have been a really luxurious place to come to. There's all these photography magazines as well, look. 1980, 1982. It seems to be like a Xinjiang woman breastfeeding her child. 1982, a woman with lots of ducks or geese. Oh look, this is the hotel, you can see it. This picture is from 1995. It's a bit more overgrown now. Look at this, I think it's a Sony Betamax tape. Can you believe I've never actually seen a Betamax before? Look at the size of it. Do not touch the tape inside. Oh, there's lots of... Holy crap. <laughs> Beta is better. It's the... Is that the instructions? Capture the excitement with truly portable video. It's a Betamax video camera. There's another one. And look, this is Shanghai Railway Station. This is before it was renovated. You can see here we found this guy and then also, it seems to be the same guy but without glasses. We suspect that this guy is actually the photographer that ran this little studio. Even though this room has been left to rot, it actually, there's so much stuff just left behind here and it's kind of documents Shanghai's modern history. We've got like Betamax videos in here. We've got photos of bridges being built, of Shanghai train station being built. So much stuff in here. The other strange thing is that we keep turning up photos of places, abandoned places that we've been to. This is actually the abandoned canal town that I visited. You can see there's the canal in the background. You can see this woman sitting on her bean bag. It's like she's camouflaged with the curtains and the bed covers. Also we can see photos of the front staircase that we went up earlier. It's very unusual that we'd find this many artifacts in a place. Oh and look at this girl, she's a real honey. Do you think she's Italian? No. No? You can see there's a lens viewer. You put the lens in the top, the slide in the top, and then you'd be able to look at it. It's quite cute, looks like a computer. Very 80s style. Some pretty fancy snooker tables. These things are huge. These are all the Dulux. Ah. Uh, 
Who's this guy? Bath? Bath? I'm not sure why you need a buffalo skull mounted on the wall. Looks like a real one though. CD players, VCD, VHS everywhere. Oh, look at this mini TV. I think that's a, that's a fax machine. Hotel Courtesy English. I'm suffering from jet lag. I'm sorry to hear that. Shall I send the doctor for you? How do you like the room? It's very nice. What a lovely room. Table tennis instructions. No muscle shirts. And that's dated 1st of May, 1998. Long time ago. What I really love about this hotel, this resort, is that even though it's been abandoned such a long time, it's so full of stuff. It feels like it's just been empty a little while, but everything around here has been empty since like the late 90s, the early noughties. It kind of gives me this nostalgic flashback feeling because this is the generation that basically I kind of grew up in. This hotel would have been an awesome place for me when I was a kid. These girls look a bit spaced out. There does seem to be a bit of a theme of exotic dancers around here. We're going through to my favourite room now though, which is the amusement arcade. And this is where you really see the age of this place. Look, this game is called Winning Run 91 from Namco. All of these machines are imported from Japan. Seems to be some kind of aircraft simulation. Taito Airlines. Or Taito. this Sega Rad Mobile. I wish we could power up these machines. But this is absolutely my favorite game in here. I can actually remember playing this game in the amusement arcade when I was maybe 11 or 12 years old. You know, like the term, it was a sideways scrolling game the Terminators and stuff would come along and you had to like pow, 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 pow with, uh, with the guns on here. Yeah. It was a really amazing game for that time. I also used to play this on my Game Boy as well. That was a long time ago. That's a very strong hint of the Japanese influence in this place. I wonder if there's any money still in the machines. have been using this machine. I wish we could turn them on. I guess this was made before cigarette advertising was banned. Oh, they've got a shuffleboard here as well. 
Oh, it smells wonderful. I think it's still waxed. <laughs> bowling rules and regulations. Enter bowling court must dress properly. Proper shirts, pants and shoes required. Hmm. Look at all these bowling shoes as well. Hmm. This reminds me of the Big Lebowski where Saddam Hussein gives him a pair of bowling shoes. Oh yeah, what condition my condition was in. Like this. I don't have the moustache though. These bowling shoes are still in really good condition. There's probably a cat. Maybe that's a bit too much noise. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. He doesn't care. I've seen that machine before. I think this might be a transsexual statue because it's got like a man's face but a penis. Unless it's like a little fanny pack. <laughs> 